Songs of Innocence and of Experience, showing the two contrary states of the human soul. Introduction Piping down the valleys wild, piping songs of pleasant glee, on a cloud I saw a child, and he laughing said to me, Pipe a song about a lamb, so I piped with merry cheer, Piper, pipe that song again, so I piped, he wept to hear. Drop thy pipe, thy happy pipe, sing thy songs of happy cheer. So I sung the same again, while he wept with joy to hear. Piper, sit thee down and write in a book that all may read. So he vanished from my sight, and I plucked a hollow reed, and I made a rural pen, and I stained the water clear. And I wrote my happy songs, every child may joy to hear. The Shepherd How sweet is the shepherd's sweet lot! From the morn to the evening he strays. He shall follow his sheep all the day, And his tongue shall be filled with praise. For he hears the lamb's innocent call, and he hears the ewe's tender reply. He is watchful while they are in peace, for they know when their shepherd is nigh. The Echoing Green The sun does arise and make happy the skies. Merry bells ring to welcome the spring. The skylark and thrush, the birds of the bush, sing louder round to the bell's cheerful sound, and our sports shall be seen on the echoing green. Old John with white hair doth laugh away care, sitting under the oak among the old folk. <laughs> they laugh at our play. And soon they all say, Such, such was the joy Of which both girl and boy In our youth time would dream When we played on the green. Till the little ones weary Can no more be merry. The sun does descend, Sports have come to an end. Round the laps of their mothers Many sisters and brothers like birds in the nest, are ready for rest. And sport, no more seen on the echoing green. The Echoing Green The sun does arise and make happy the skies. The merry bells ring to welcome the spring. The skylark and thrush, the birds of the bush, sing louder round to the bell's cheerful sound, while our sports shall be seen on the echoing green. Old John with white hair does laugh away care, sitting under the oak among the old folk. They laugh at our play, and soon they all say, Such, such were the joys, when we all, girls and boys, in our youth time were seen on the echoing green. Till the little ones weary can no more be merry, the sun does descend, and our sports have an end. Round the laps of their mothers, many sisters and brothers, like birds in their nest, are ready for rest. And sport, no more seen, on the darkening green. The Lamb Little lamb, who made thee? Dost thou know who made thee? Gave thee life and bade thee feed, 
by the stream and all the mead, Gave thee clothing of delight, Softest clothing, woolly, bright, Gave thee such a tender voice, Making all the vales rejoice, Little lamb, who made thee? Dost thou know who made thee? Little lamb, I'll tell thee. Little lamb, I'll tell thee. He is called by thy name, For he calls himself a lamb. He is meek and he is mild, He became a little child. I a child, and thou a lamb. Little lamb, God bless thee. Little lamb, God bless thee. The Little Black Boy My mother bore me in the southern wild, And I am black, but oh, my soul is white. White as an angel is the English child, But I am black as if bereaved of light. My mother taught me underneath a tree, And sitting down before the heat of day, She took me on her lap and kissed me, And pointing to the east began to say, Look on the rising sun, There God does live and gives his light And gives his heat away. And flowers and trees and beasts and men receive comfort in morning, joy in the noonday. And we are put on earth a little space that we may learn to bear the beams of love. And these black bodies in this sunburnt face is but a cloud and like a shady grove. For when our souls have learned the heat to bear, the cloud will vanish. We shall hear his voice saying, Come out from the grove, my love and care, And round my golden tent like lambs rejoice. Thus did my mother say, and kissed me, And thus I say to little English boy, When I from black and he from white cloud free, And round the tent of God like lambs we joy. I'll shade him from the heat till he can bear To lean in joy upon our father's knee, and then I'll stand and stroke his silver hair, And be like him, and he will then love me. The Blossom Merry, merry sparrow, under leaves so green, A happy blossom sees you swift as arrow, Seek your cradle narrow near my bosom. Pretty, pretty robin, under leaves so green, A happy blossom hears you sobbing, sobbing, Pretty, pretty robin, near my bosom. The Chimney Sweeper When my mother died I was very young, and my father sold me while yet my tongue could scarcely cry, Weep, 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 weep. So your chimneys I sweep, and in soot I sleep. There's little Tom Dacker who cried when his head, That curled like a lamb's back, was shaved. So I said, Hush, Tom, never mind it, for when your head's bare, You know that the soot cannot spoil your white hair. And so he was quiet, and that very night, as Tom was a-sleeping, he had such a sight that thousands of sweepers, Dick, Joe, Ned, and Jack, were all of them locked up in coffins of black. And by came an angel who had a bright key, and he opened the coffins and set them all free. Then down a green plain, leaping, laughing, they run, and wash in a river, and shine in the sun. Then naked and white, all their bags left behind, they rise upon clouds and sport in the wind. And the angel told Tom, if he'd be a good boy, He'd have God for his father, and never want joy. And so Tom awoke, and we rose in the dark, And we got with our bags and our brushes to work. Though the morning was cold, Tom was happy and warm, 
So if all do their duty, they need not fear harm. The little boy lost. Father, father, where are you going? Oh, do not walk so fast. Speak, father, speak to your little boy, or else I shall be lost. The night was dark, no father was there. The child was wet with dew. The mire was deep, and the child did weep, and away the vapour flew. The little boy found. The little boy lost in the lonely fen, led by the wandering light, began to cry, but God ever nigh, appeared like his father in white. He kissed the child, and by the hand led, and to his mother brought, who in sorrow pale, through the lonely dale, her little boy weeping sought. Laughing Song When the green woods laugh with the voice of joy, and the dimpling stream runs laughing by, when the air does laugh with our merry wit, and the green hill laughs with the noise of it, <laughs> when the meadows laugh with lively green, and the grasshopper laughs in the merry scene, when Mary and Susan and Emily with their sweet round mouths sing ha ha he, when the painted birds laugh in the shade, where our table with cherries and nuts is spread, come live and be merry and join with me, to sing the sweet chorus of ha ha he. A Cradle Song Sweet dreams, form a shade o'er my lovely infant's head, Sweet dreams of pleasant streams by happy silent moony beams. Sweet sleep with soft down weave thy brows an infant crown. Sweet sleep, angel mild, hover o'er my happy child. Sweet smiles in the night hover over my delight. Sweet smiles, mother smiles, all the live long night beguiles. Sweet moans, dove like sighs, chase not slumber from thy eyes. Sweet moans, sweeter smiles, all the dove-like moans beguiles. Sleep, sleep, happy child, all creation slept and smiled. Sleep, sleep, happy sleep, while all thee, thy mother, weep. Sweet babe in thy face, holy image I can trace. Sweet babe, once like thee, thy maker lay and wept for me. Wept for me, for thee, for all when he was an infant small. Thou his image ever see, heavenly face that smiles on thee, smiles on thee, on me, on all. Who became an infant small, infant smiles are his own smiles, heaven and per, heaven and earth to peace beguile. And the last one for tonight, um, the Divine Image. To mercy, pity, peace and love, all pray in their distress, and to these virtues of delight return their thankfulness. For mercy, pity, peace and love is God our Father dear, and mercy, pity, peace and love is man, his child and care. For mercy has a human heart, pity a human face, and love the human form divine, and peace the human dress. Then every man of every clime that prays in his distress, prays to the human form divine, love, mercy, pity, peace. And all must love the human form, in heathen, Turk, or Jew, where mercy, love, and pity dwell, their God is dwelling too. So that's been a reading from um, from William Blake, um, Everyman Poetry. Uh, most of the 
pretty much all of the poems I read were from uh, Songs of Innocence. I will continue reading through here and also get on to um, the others from Songs of Experience and Marriage of Heaven and Hell and so forth. Um, if you've got this far, thank you very much for listening. Uh, much appreciated. Um, and um, feel free to scout around my channel if you see anything else that you like. Night.